it is Monday, which means it's time for another video. Like I always say, I just want to apologize for still not doing a collection video because the collection is honestly still growing. Um, not as much as it used to or as it was, but um, I'm still getting a bunch of stuff. But um, obviously, as you can see from the title of this video, I am reviewing the movie Deadly Dreams. I got this from a Kino sale. And when was that? And I got the movies around December. Um, this is the only one that was a uh, DVD. Um, I just picked it up because I wanted to get the free shipping. Honestly, um, it's a we it's a weird cover too. Um, and the killer does wear that uh, mask. I don't want to spoil anything, but um, this is a very interesting movie. Is it good? No. Um, it was very, like, as you can see, as from the title, Deadly Dreams, there's a lot of dreams in this movie. So you don't even know half the time what is real and what isn't. Half the time it is a dream. Um, so the reality thing is just strange. But it turns out it's actually not all dreams. Um, the killer... Basically, this kid named Alex, when he was a kid on Christmas Eve, his two parents got killed by this guy that his dad basically ran out of business and out of hatred. This guy killed his parents and then shot himself. Um, so Alex is kind of having these dreams about this guy in this animal type mask. Um, he meets this girl named Maggie, who was in um, Friday the 13th Part 5 and uh, Slumber Party Massacre 2. Um, so if you'd see this movie and you see her she's very familiar that's why um in the horror community at least and it turns out maggie is kind of in, is can, in cahoots with alex's older brother um and they basically want alex dead so they get all the inheritance because alex ended up getting all the inheritance when his parents passed and his brother didn't get anything and um, they want him dead. And plot twist, he actually does die. They actually do kill the main character off. I wasn't expecting them to kill the main character off. It kind of ends abruptly. The thing is with this movie, it's only an hour and 19 minutes. So it's a very short movie. Um, so you really don't get a whole lot of time with these characters that you might get in another movie. Um, but yeah, that's really basically all this movie is about. Um, these two people trying to drive Alex crazy so that he ends up eventually dying. And that's what happens. Um, he dies and they get the inheritance. But at the end, um, Alex's older brother does get killed. And Maggie is somehow the mastermind behind all this because she knows what's going on upstairs at the end of this film and she has this look on her face like she knew what was going to happen but she really doesn't care um which is a little crazy i don't even know if they really got married so they wouldn't really be together i don't know who would get his inheritance but i guess her i don't really know but that's all i have to say about deadly dreams definitely an interesting movie to say the least like i said it's not really a great movie by any means but it's still worth at least a watch or two. But yeah, there's a lot I have to say about this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this isn't really a long review. It's ba I basically summed up the whole movie for you. Um, um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say. Um, shortly after this review gets posted, I will be putting more movies on a poll. So make sure you guys vote on that. But in the meantime, if I do, don't make a video, other video this week, I will see you guys next Monday.